Okay, Ricardo, what's going on? Uh, I just wanted a little bit of personal advice on the situation. Oh, ban you, Aaron, okay? Okay, okay, yeah, cool. It's my chat right, Come on in. Okay. <laughs> I got to... I got striked 15 times today. 15 times, all right. 15 times? Well, let's not talk yeah, about right. that. Let's not... No, no, no. Yeah. We're not gonna, Ray, we're not going to do this. If you got strike by a high committee member or a committee member, we're not going to... I'm around. not making a complaint. I just needed advice. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I, I'm not Bass making a complaint. always assumes, away. Ricardo, sorry oh, about that. That's because no, when I, people I, come in here and say, I got punished, right? It comes no, off no, like I they're complaining wanted... about why they got punished. That's all. No, I just wanted your advice to see if I... Uh, Love you too. I should follow what was said or... I just need I need clarification on something. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to make I, formal I'm not going to make a formal like complaint. 15 times though. No, no, 15 points, <laughs> he got, 15, he points. Got 15 points. 15 points, not 15 oh, times. Oh. Yeah, that, uh, that would be a big excessive, don't you think? Bass, you want me to lead this one? Go ahead, Clarkson. Yes, I would love to. Um so uh command is already aware of uh your situation, Ricardo. Um we actually talked about it. Um okay. It's still up in the air on how what we discussed right i would say bass because they're split um decisions personally i don't think you did anything wrong and i think you made the right call um but uh you know i don't i, I don't know i don't i personally don't bass i would actually i, I want to hear bass take but personally i don't think you should just uh, rabbit hole down your sops every situation is different you gotta expand your different situations right like uh, i don't know I don't know, Bass. Let me hear your take, Bass, actually. Uh, so context doesn't matter. Clarkson's right. Nothing is black and white when it comes to policing. So not every single, mm -hmm. you know, officer being held up isn't turned into an office and that person getting shot. It just depends, um, you know, as far as what happened. Would so, you like the context? Yeah, yeah. I mean, fill me in. All right. So a police pursuit began with an individual uh, after a 37 Alpha. Uh, it was this blue and colored Mercedes, black series, got involved with a chase, pitted officers off of a bridge, etc. It was really aggressive. So we, in turn... After losing the Prime 37 Alpha vehicle, chased the Black Series across the city, where it crashed out, and the primary suspect that got out of the vehicle kept his hands up. This guy was identified to be Jay Hobbs later on. An individual that was a suspect in a stolen CVPI in a police outfit that was identified to be forehead came up to him and placed him in cuffs, placed Jay Hobbs in cuffs. They were doing a little bit of a bit. I don't know what was going on. Officers came up to him, tased him, tried to place him in cuffs, but Forehead was able to successfully place Jay Hobbs, who was cuffed now, into the police cruiser. And at this point, I was securing the vehicle on scene, you know, helping secure the Black Series, so I was a little bit late. But they apparently escorted him all the way back to MRPD and transported him into the cells where Forehead escorted Jay Hobbs directly into the cells himself. So at this point, there was like four or five officers with Forehead and Jay Hobbs, who was now in the cells, and Forehead was processing him. Um, at this point, uh, we came to the cells. I think it was me and Brick came late. And Forehead pulled the gun out and aimed at the four officers that were closest to him and took them all hostage. Is that Mishra PD? Right in the MRPD cells, yes. Yeah, I would have shot him probably. Yeah, so, that, I mean, that matters a lot. Yeah, I would, I would probably open fire on us because he did it at a police station. Yes, I understand. So here's more context. Uh, four individuals now, officers that are at gunpoint. Forehead has a gun. Jay Hobbs is in the cells with nothing. Forehead says, in release for Jay, I will give myself up. But I want Jay to be completely free. I was in that scene. A lot we of had like 30 cops now at this today, scene. So. Uh, we had essentially every single corner to lock down. I said, uh, I would rather not let the individual that's like an accomplice to kidnapping of officers be let free. So I negotiated for their free passage to a vehicle only if, and we wouldn't open fire, only if they would both surrender their guns to officers. So they did. We were able to successfully get both weapons from them and they get free passage to a vehicle that we placed at the back of Mission Row PD with multiple officers on every single side, about 30 officers I said before, that were able to instantly spike them. So we had all the guns. They were no threat to officers at this point. Uh, they instantly drove for about, was it two seconds? Spiked, pitted into a wall, surrounded. Other suspects, about four other suspects got involved at this point. All eventually had, we found out, they had violent felony, uh, warrants, etc., weapons, everything. So if, if we did open fire, they probably opened fire as well. But uh, we ended up apprehending every single one of those suspects as well. Uh, five of them were placed uh, under arrest. 
and one of the individuals, uh, Jihad's, which already had everything illegal taken off of him, had a warrant placed for him. After physical identification, he uh, was able to escape. But he, had, he did almost nothing wrong. So five uh, suspects were gone, including violent felonies, warrants, everything. And when I went to the office to uh, have a conversation with the HD at the point, they strike me 15 times for a decision not to open fire the vehicle. Yeah, it's one of those things where you should probably talk to the highest on duty before making that call. If it happens at a place like Michigan PD, right? Maybe uh, consult a higher um, ranking officer and see what how they feel about it. And if they give you the go-ahead, then you run with it, right? So it really depends on what's going on in perspective. I can't sit here and say what is right and wrong because the high commanding member is not present, and I don't want to undermine somebody's um, you know uh, judgment call in front of other officers right now. So I um, see what you're trying to say here, and I see what you're trying to kind of explain. Because you're trying to get clarification, when is it okay to open fire and was it not right? But I can't see and tell you what is black and white because it, just, it is a gray area. I'm not gonna lie because is. every situation is different, man. Um, if, and it you, makes it, if it makes it any better, Angel was right next to me in the cells when I was given the instruction. Was it your scene? Uh, I took it over late, as I said. I entered, and the individuals were going to be at gunpoint. That point. Whose scene was it originally? Uh, yeah, who 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 were the officers that walked them down into the cells while he? That walked them. <clears throat> it seemed, it seemed like uh, so, so oh, I, I was, oh, yeah, I, I think was, he was uh, one of them. <clears throat> oh, of course, oh, Josh Kane. Okay, it's an involved. SASP, huh? So you really? <laughs> so <laughs> let me this fucking real. application right now. I want if I can speak, Cade. How you gonna put <laughs> Ricardo in that position? To have to like clean up a mess that you essentially created by walking. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Know, okay, so who was leading? Who was leading the whole thing? Step. Who was the primary officer? That was the, the first. I think, okay, okay. So I think at the beginning it was. I think right at first, like at the start of the, uh, the thirty seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then but obviously, then, like like Ray said, you know, saying uh, he had to do the the vehicle, the vehicle. stuff. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, we was chasing, you know, forehead in the CVPI, and then. He was screaming, uh, not screaming, but he was yelling, saying, I'm going to drive him to MRPD. So it was like me and I don't want to, uh -huh. I don't want to throw a nail on him, but uh -huh. it was myself and other officers that were there that drove uh, to him to the MRPD where he hopped out the front, you know, took him in. And then while we was there, we was negotiating Obviously, he was writing up charges and stuff. You know what I'm saying? He pulled out the MDW, whatever. He was. We we thought he was an officer at the time, and then he obviously. Wait, you know, I'm sorry. You said forehead, and then you thought he was an officer. Yeah, yeah, because he had an outfit on. He had he had like a oh, he had a okay. he had a police outfit on. All right. And then um yeah, then uh whilst I was there looking at the MDW, he pulled a gun out and then aimed it at myself, myself, uh Spartan. Jaden Bain and Oxlong, and we was then, then held up at gunpoint. So obviously, I, I can't, at that point, that's when I'm, you know, hostage, I guess. Sound like a fucking mess. Yeah. But um, the, the like biggest thing, on, Ricardo, right? honestly, is just um, making sure that whoever's highest on scene, talk to them and just communicate with them and figure out exactly what's the game plan. That way, you're both on the same page. So if something happened, there's no surprise Pikachu, right? I understand. And I was given one minute to explain myself in the office, and that was strike 15, uh, 15 strike points. It's going to happen. Um, take it on the chin, learn from it. And then if there is an issue that is bigger than that, we can obviously talk, talk about it in other channels. They're more appropriate than just um, right here. So. Uh, understood. Yeah, I just. I'm not going to sit here and just tell Ricardo what uh, he did was right or wrong, man, because but, that's uh, going to undermine that's from it. dark is 15 strike points. Yeah, what's up? Can I can I say something in relation to this to, to Ray? Sure, yeah, far away. I mean, this is the time, right? One, one thing you got to keep in mind, Ray, is that there's going to be times where you don't agree with uh, punishments that are given, which this seems like one of those times, and that's completely okay to do that. Um, but it sounds like you're already taking it on the chin, like Bass said. And that's fantastic. Ray came here to think, um, get clarification behind why or what he should do in the future if something like that happens. Did they hold somebody That should be the goal. The goal is to... In my opinion, Correct more than likely. Correct behavior and provide clarity for what's the uh, right step. Get them out with like. When you punish somebody, you should also explain to them what so they should do like, better. You can't just punish um, somebody and say go out there well and patrol. Downgrading and I'm not saying don't do, do that. I'm just saying in general, um, right? But again, it's going to be up to the person that's there at the time. I think like I know you well enough uh, with how you did an LSPD before and DPD and stuff like that that you uh like you're not always going to get striked for things like this. And I know it feels really demoralizing, but the best way is to. I don't know what that means. Uh, 
Is that for me or Bass? What? Is that note on the table for me or Bass? The one right, right in front of me with the fingerprints. What is this? I don't, I don't even see a note. There's, an, there's a piece of paper with fingerprints on it right in front of him. What does don't it say? No. What does it say? Oh, I see that. It I says, uh, I think I can translate. These guys are been shot. What does that mean? I don't know what that is. What I'm the not fuck sure. is that? I, I'm not sure. Mm. Nice, so, Cade. Nice. nice. Why is it in Cade for um, uh, AJ? But uh, in all seriousness, dude, I, I don't think you should beat yourself up over it. I wouldn't know. Sound, yeah. yeah, it sounds like you're you're kind of like harping yourself a little bit more than you need to do it. Um, and you should you should really focus on just like like Bassa, just like learning in the future and like uh, learning. Yeah, sure for head in a Y, the, the, like they're already uh, working on it. Oh, you really you, you, you ain't doing nothing wrong, bro. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna say that because, like I said, at the end. Uh, they, yeah, but uh, he's my depends. equal. You ain't doing nothing wrong, homie. <laughs> everybody's gonna have their own story. opinions. Of everything. Yeah, everything's gonna, everybody's gonna have their own opinions. Of everything, but it. As long as you learn from it, don't don't beat yourself up over it, dude. I I've made similar mistakes. Everybody does it. It's just up to you to just keep learning it. What is the venture? What does that mean? You're perfectly fine. Uh, I'll give you the other side of it. Like, don't let them gaslight you into thinking you did something wrong. Uh, <laughs> it was your scene, your call. You called it how you wanted it. Uh, you thought that, that was the best decision to be made. It wasn't even the scene. It came in late, though. That's the thing. This that's breakdown what, of communication that's, that's between the person that was primary on the scene and him. If they would have worked together, I think. Um, oh, the person that was scene was. Uh, He's it was like up. me, yeah, me, Oxlong, and everyone, like, we was all held up. So it was kind of like someone so else's stuff. Nobody you had looking scene. to be a trooper, Cade? What was that? How am I, me what am I meant to do by getting held up? You want to know something, Bison? You know, in the last fucking, fucking four on his days, face and shoot him in the face afterwards. Listen, listen, yeah, in the what? last four days, Wait, I've been held hostage and kidnapped six times. Yo, that's not very trooper, right? That's not very I'm trooper getting like targeted. Time. What am I supposed to do when I'm getting targeted? You shoot them before they take you hostage. What? Why don't you also, have a gun on your lap at all times? Guys, I did say when you guys were transporting them to the cells that you guys should check them for guns before you let them into MRPD. Yeah, why didn't you check them for... Hold on a minute. Why yeah, didn't you check them for guns? Yeah. I thought he was... I mean, I, I, mean, I thought he was a cop. Oh, wow. You know the guy that held people up was a cop? You said... You, you just said you thought Forehead was a cop. But he didn't look like Forehead. Wait, was he wearing the UPD outfit? Forehead, before you was even he wearing? said anything. No, he was wearing like, like a... He, was wearing, he, he looked like a ranger. Hey, guys, who gives a fuck? All right, uh, I mean, it doesn't we're going matter in circles here. It doesn't matter a little bit, yeah. But yeah, facts. Uh, at, the, at, right. at the end of the day, like uh, Clarkson said, uh, it's a whole lot of gray between a lot of black and white. So, not every single situation is born equal, or it's going to be the same outcome, right? They're very unique, and you need to have the expertise and the knowledge when to pull that trigger, when to try to de-escalate and try to preserve life, not take it. Right. So, it's not always going to be a, a tough balance as a police officer. And some of the best police officers know how to balance it pretty well by understanding when is it I should be aggressive and when should I just, you know, pull back. Yeah, that's why I had the idea of taking their weapons away. I mean, Angel helped with that idea too. It was a really good idea. We just grabbed the weapons, be able to confiscate both weapons so they were no longer threats. What is the Lakers so Pelican like, okay, store point, right now? I mean, we can easily just open fire and kill everyone. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, Bass. From what it sounds like, it sounds like a, a call he made extended the situation. <clears throat> you know what I'm have saying? You, have you thought about talking to Dark like after he's after you both have cooled down? Um, that I might don't be a good I idea to do that. I I know it's like very. What's the good word I'm looking for? He gave me one minute to speak, and then said, "You're the type of officer I don't want to see." Uh, you don't follow uh, SOPs. No, oh, oh, oh my. Boy, okay, boy, okay, okay, no, 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 we're not going down this rabbit hole. We're not going down this rabbit hole, y'all. Yo, personally? No, no, Clarkson, stop. stop. This is the shit you complain about. This is the shit you complain about, and then you try to start. You you can't be walking that double line, right? You have Bison sitting in your fucking seat, and Bison's not even a command member. And Having him talk for you. Let's not get started. What are you talking about? I did ask permission. Okay. I did ask permission. I'm just saying, I don't want to go down this fucking rabbit hole where we gossip and shit talk people behind their backs. I'm not present. I'm, I'm not right. I don't. I just don't want to do that because that's kind of culture. We need to get rid of the PD. It yeah, is yeah, okay. Aids. And another culture we need to get rid of the PD is soft fucking serving everything in this PD. Okay, just give it to them real hard. Right? Give it to them hard, Clarkson. Say, say it how right it's now. fucking real. I, if I say what I'm going to say, it's going to go against everything Dark is saying. But Bass is right. Uh, right but, I'm not going to go time against. Time and place for that. I would exactly. Go I would go talk to Dark. Look, listen, man. Why, why, why'd you do this? What's your philosophy behind this? Why was this behind? Right. I, then I'll I would, go and yeah. talk to you afterwards. Right. I respect for him. I would I would try having a talk with Dark now that you guys have both cooled off and it's been a minute, like tomorrow or something. 
I know you don't want to, but I think that'd be the best course of action. And who knows? You might reverse the strikes. Yeah, and at the end of the day, mean, honestly, you've got 60 pool of strikes. Like, you know, 15 is like nothing. It's literally nothing. Yeah. It's more of like... 60, what? Yeah, you got 60. Uh, it's more, but it's more it's of him getting now? like... It's, been it's more him getting sunned like that. You it's, know what I'm saying, son? 60 to what? Be fired? Uh, Suspended for 24 hours. When did it change to that? That's not like, the. I, I got fixed ago. the SOPs. Months ago. Also, if you uh, okay, I gotta okay. add that. Now. You get fired, badge. You wanna announce this one? You gotta wait thirty days now, not fourteen. Wait, so when you get fired, you can get rehired. We gotta wait. Oh yeah, you didn't days. know, bro. Everybody was just getting fired and coming back like two weeks later, man. Oh, I was cool. just thought you. I thought when you get fired, you get that's it. You're done, so finito. Well, it depends how you get fired, right? If I go out there and I just fucking you know steal from the armory, sell those out, out in the back of my van, <laughs> you're probably gonna get you know deny list, not come back to the PD. But if I get fired on good standing because I'm an active or you know I'm not around or maybe I made one mistake that is you know redeemable, mm. right? So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um. Yeah, uh, TLDR, Ricardo, you just gotta, you know, take it on the chin. Uh, personally, uh, actually, I think everybody in this room will agree that you ain't do shit, bruh. Hold her the foot down, all right? And, uh, you know, we gonna hold you down, homie. I don't, you know. Why'd you, you, why'd you fuck, sound like, fuck, why'd you sound like Shane fuck, from Walking Dead? Why'd you sound like Shane from Walking Dead? No, no, no. Fuck dark, you know what I mean? No, no. All the hostages take up. All right, we'll have to hold you up Absolutely on that Absolutely not. It's not say, happening. Can't say fuck dark. Right. Can't no, do no, no, no. Don't do that, dog. It's, it's my just, man. Yo. Oh, okay. Carter, don't fucking white knight, all right? Let's calm down, all hey, right? Hey, bro, I got to, bro. Fucking white knight ain't the over here. You put on your white cap. Go to the locker room and put bro. on your white cap. Shut the fuck up what I'm talking, bitch. Hey, do strikes last 30 days or 60 days, Bass? 30 days. Okay, but they, Word. but you just said 60 days. No, 60 days, 60 strike points. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I have a question. Actually, no, I don't. Never mind. I want to go out there and patrol you. Anything else you want to talk about before I go patrol? No, what are you eating? That's what I just yes, wanted to know. I, I, I do appreciate you guys leaving a lending year. You know. uh, I had some cornbread and leaving chili. Leaving our What? I appreciate you guys leaving a uh, uh, lending oh. an ear. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> leaving our yeah, lending. Of course. Right. I mean, if you have any yeah. uh, questions yeah. or clarification, just <laughs> find one of us, right? You heard that, EJ? What do you say? I appreciate it. Thank you for leaving our lending.